What is up guys, Yellow Gamer here, and today I am bringing you guys episode number 28 of my MLB 17 The Road, MLB 17 The Show, Road to the Show series, featuring shortstop Troy Tillman, who is currently playing for the Tampa Bay Rays. Here's a quick look at the wild card situation. Uh, we're about, what would you say, two and a half games behind the Red Sox. We're a half game up on the Rangers, who are uh, kind of creeping up on us, trying to get that playoff spot. We've been struggling a little bit as of late, uh, so we're trying to get a little bit more back on track. Uh, currently, we're third in our division, which makes it kind of funny that we are, in fact, first or second, I should say, second, the wild card, um, which is a very talented AL East this year. Uh, obviously, capped by the Orioles and or highlighted by the Orioles and the Red Sox and obviously us. Uh, either way, we've got a big three game series here coming up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. I'm always excited to play some of those road games. Um, I have a lot of fun primarily playing on the road. I think I've mentioned that once before. So uh, looking forward to play these games against the Pittsburgh Pirates. It looks like we're going to be batting third in the lineup in this game. Against Drew Hutchinson, who appears to be having a pretty good season thus far. Uh, 2.65 ERA on the season. But as a whole, looks like the Pirates are struggling quite a bit. They're a combined 1-8 at home and 3-7 and on the road uh, with a 4-15 and record. So um, when you look at team rankings, their hitting looks a little bit rough. They're pitching not actually awful, but uh, it, it definitely hasn't been, been that great of a season for them thus far. And hopefully... We can keep that period of time at least three games longer for them because we're trying to come out of here and get a sweep. Obviously, with how talented our division has been, uh, we have a lot of competition. We have a lot that we need to do in order to maintain a playoff position. So with us going up here, batting third, running around second. Now, I have to say, this is my first time playing a video game in about a day or two, so I'm going to be a little bit rusty. Uh, so we'll see how this goes for me. Okay, not a bad first swing. Going to pop that one out or fly out deep. Right field. Hopefully the runner will be able to advance so it's not completely worthwhile. Nope, it'll be a completely worthless at bat. So nothing's really going there. Only going to get one training point. Moving on, that runner's not going to end up scoring. So now we have uh, no runners on base. It'll be the first batter of the game, Starling Marte, who is uh, obviously in real life suspended. Not going to be suspended here in this game. 94 speed, though. We know he's a fast runner, so we're going to have to fire one over to first. But luckily, we will be able to get him out in time down that first base path. Now up Francisco Cervelli. We're actually up. 1-0 to zero now in the second inning, so uh, being able to put a couple runs up is always a good feeling. A runner on first, we're going to try to pull that double play. Looks like I'm going to be the one on second. Oh, he's going to actually... No, throw it, throw it. Oh, goodness gracious. The game took a second to process the tag, so he didn't fling it on over to first. But luckily, it doesn't look like that ended up being an issue. Um, we won't activate any perks just yet, but we'll see. Gonna watch that first pitch slider a little bit too far inside. I'm not gonna be reaching for that one. Trying to be disciplined up here at the plate. Right. And then I swing at a ball like two inches out of the strike zone. That's 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 great right there. So back to back slider is gonna be working that off speed stuff. Oh that that okay, that was without a doubt the pitch I should have ripped. Okay, going to fight off that pitch. Probably could have been a ball, but uh, I'm not going to take any risks. Damn, I should have crushed that fastball down the middle. Oh, you're kidding. Damn, that rust is really starting to show. I haven't played in a couple of days, and it, it is it is showing right now. I've not played MLB especially in like a week. Where was that pitch? Yep, right down the middle. Good timing, too. Okay, so there wasn't necessarily anything bad about that swing. It was more just a luck factor. Okay, with us leading off uh, and assuming we only have a couple at-bats left, we'll activate house rules with the opportunity to hopefully crank a big pitch here against Hutchinson. Dude, you got to be kidding me right now, Tillman. Not capitalizing on any of those pitches. That one was also one that probably could have been driven a little bit. The timing, once again, was good according to the uh, little meter there on the bottom left. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Step, step out, step out, step out. We got run on first. I just know it's a 3-3 game. Now we're going to really need this ball and play perk, especially against the lefty. We're not exactly the best hitter against lefties, statistically. Oh, my fucking... Oh, jeez. This is a frustrating game. All these pitches, he should be roping. All of them. Like, I can just feel it. Like, it feels good. That one was probably good timing, too, I feel like. Okay, here we go. Trying to get some frustration now on just one big swing. That was a fast 
pitch though, 96 miles an hour, making that radar gun light up. Yeah, I'm not swinging in the dirt. Learned my lesson earlier in this game. Back-to-back -back fastballs. So I'm going to start reading the off-speed pitch. I'm expecting maybe a changeup. That is going to bring three fastballs in a row. No, he is. 97 on that one. Who is on the mound? Hudson. I'm not sure if I know exactly who this is, but he's got a hell of an arm. Ooh, okay. There's a good changeup. Nice positioning, too, right there on the, the outside line of the strike zone. No, no, no. Don't give it. Don't give it. I got strong wrist, baby. I got that perk activated. There we go. 3-2 count. Now this is where things get interesting. I feel like he'll probably bring a fastball. And he will. I probably could have taken that for a walk. In fact, that more than likely would have been called a bowl, but got to fight off those close pitches. Anything close, I'm not looking to strike out looking. Nope. Hmm, but there we go. Same pitch. Got a little bit of an idea there on the last one that that ball was out of the strike zone. So obviously able to read that one. Get out of there with a, uh, with a walk. Now an opportunity to steal a base. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was an awful throw. I don't know if that's Cervelli behind the plate, but not a very good throw. Not a very powerful throw either. So a 2-2 count now with Corey Dickerson to bat. All he's got to do is put some bat on ball, and if this ball leaves the infield, I'm going home with it. And, uh, I already said I was going to go home with it. No. Oh, goodness. I don't care what anybody says. I felt good about that. A good throw by the right fielder. I did feel good about going home on that ball. Damn, if that, oh man, if that ball was just a foot off, we probably, probably would have walked out of here successfully with a win. Moving on now, the 12th inning. Over four on the day, obviously. Trying to turn it around, get a hit. Got to walk in the last at bat. Dude, I think my guy's trying a little bit too much to bring back that power that he got in the last episode. Last episode, cranked like four home runs in one series. But then again, what also in the last episode, I was struggling a lot prior to hitting those home runs. So you never know when it's going to happen. Oh. This has just been a frustrating game. Seven at-bats. Only time I touched a, a base was because of a walk. We're going first, no outs. Going to try to pull a double play here. On to the first baseman, on to me. Let's get it back to him. There we go. A nice double play. We've been pitching a pretty good game. And right when I say that, we jinx it. They're going to get a walk off. Looks like a walk off home run. But look at me, a phenomenal 0 for 6 game. We're moving on here in the next game. I'm just be in here to pinch hit. Down 5 0. So I, I doubt me doing anything here is going to make much of a difference. Ooh. Okay, not going for that fastball. Oh, man. Nope, once again, not going for that. Not going for that either. So a 3-1 count here. Lots of very close pitches, but I'm being pretty patient. That could have been, that could have been a good pitch. A bit early on that one, though. Oh, there we go. That was a that was a good swing. That was a good swing. That ball's gonna go over the center field wall, and it, it kind of feels like the past four or five games. The only thing I'm doing is hitting home runs. I either I either get out or hit a home run. I, I don't get it. 
crush that ball, though. 413 feet. And then, obviously, like I said, I don't think my off-bat was going to make much of a difference anyways. We're down 5-0. End up losing 7-3 there. Don't think we have enough no dumb enough to upgrade the speed. As you guys know, I'm trying to get that speed pretty high up there into either the 80s or the 90s. But Pirates having a, a rough start to the season. They're, they're not really looking like they're struggling at all against us. We're going to have to get house rules early on. I'm just trying to get back into a rhythm. Run on first. A chance to, to drive home a hit. Or drive home a run, I should say. There we go. Knock one back up the middle. Runner's going to be aggressive going for third. Uh, oh, he's going to be safe. Okay. Very close throw. But there we go. Back-to-back -back hits. I guess my guy's just kind of a streaky hitter. I go on these huge streaks of great hits. And I go on these huge slumps. I don't, I don't know exactly how to... I don't know what to do about it, but... Whatever. Come on, Dickerson. Beat it out. Beat it out. Damn it. That's going to be no run scoring. Oh, terrible time for a ground, a ground ball double play. Now back up to bat. Oop. Full swing bunt. I'm going to be thrown out by a mile. So nothing going on there. Bit of a rough inning here for uh, for Alex Cobb, it looks like. Runners on first and second. Only one out. We're going to try to pull a double play. but Oh, that's a nice ball back up the middle. But luckily, our second baseman's positioned there. An, an awful throw for me. Throwing a strain to the dirt, but a beautiful scoop from our first baseman's going to prevent any error. So there we go. Moving on now. Trying to get a big swing on the ball. Tie this game back up. Nice high outside fastball. Who's this on the mound? Oh, Jameson. You guys told me how to say this in an episode. I totally forgot. That was another good swing, but a great play by the shortstop. A great throw by the shortstop. I believe that's Alan Hansen over there at shortstop. Just an absolutely beautiful play. But now we have a lead. Oh, look at this. First and second. Both runs coming in this inning. First and second with two outs. Let's try to keep this rally going. Not swing to that fastball. Who is this? Rivero's on the mound. ERA's not looking too good on the season. 0-2 with a 14 ERA. Oh, and we're going to make that ERA a little bit higher. A pitch right down the middle. And we're going to crank that ball. A five-run rally here in the eighth inning is going to put us up 5-1. to one. That, was, that was awesome. A no-doubt shot there. Three-run home run. That's exactly what we needed, hopefully, to boost a little bit of confidence going into the next series. Our coach seems to be pretty happy with that one. Ninth home run of the season. Probably leading the league at this point. Seems like we're hitting a home run every other game. Yeah, we just we put quite the swing on that ball. And we're actually going to end up winning that game. And we're going to play with the game as well. Now, this will be one of the shortest episodes, actually, that has ever come in a row to the show. It's interesting. 14 minutes. Usually, they're like 30 minutes long. But a pretty short three-game series, obviously, with us pinch hitting one of them. Uh, but, yeah, pretty pretty short series. Only able to take one of the three games against a struggling Pirates team. It's definitely not a step in the right direction, but we'll figure it out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of the series and what I could do to make it more interesting in the comment section below. And lastly, subscribe if you have not already to stay tuned to this series and other series i got going on on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.